Brilliant. Now, now I'm a conductor, and the next step is to be a very good conductor. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is this is you know why I love this job and why I'm super happy to um to have this as my profession because it's a, it's a constant learning. So uh, actually, I, I'm paid to learn something, and and to and then to conduct it yeah so uh, this is uh this is this is why i find my job uh, so fascinating all the time new repertoire new uh, uh, new informations new learning 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 every every day new people new orchestras and it's it's an extremely exciting life in an exciting profession of course it, it's stressful it, it has other things but uh, if 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 one decides to accept it then um, yeah, I enjoy it very much. So the next step to conduct as much as possible, to conduct as much as uh, uh, orchestras as possible, to um, yeah, to be on the music scene, just to you know to learn, to work, to make music. Yeah, this this is the next step. One day I would love to yes have a, have a family and maybe situate somewhere, but but um, but this is. Um, this is a bit far away now. Now, now I'm in, in this uh, um, prime time, I would say, of my life, finishing my studies, getting the opportunistic opportunities to conduct. You know, because for the last five, six, seven years, I always ask my, ask myself, are these opportunities going to come or not? I was always nervous. I was always anxious. Does it come? Does it come? Does it come? How do I get an man? How how do I conduct it? And now, just like that, amazing. Luck, hmm. It it came. I I don't even. I don't know you know, even know how to give an advice to younger colleagues except uh, yeah, I, everything. yeah. I, I sometimes wonder if it has to do with uh, the fact that you are prepared now for it you know that previously maybe yes. you were not prepared and that, that, that now it's yeah. the right it's the right thing yeah, yeah. I even I even even sometimes think I, I started too early with some things you know I, I wish I could <laughs> often I wish I could come go back in time and 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 be a better student i, mm -hmm. I have a feeling that I, I skipped some years of my studies because i was too concentrated on how do i show myself somewhere how do i make some concerts how do i go to different festivals and 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 um i sacrificed some time for this uh, instead of really doing my homeworks more properly and mm -hmm. i'm i'm sad about it but uh lesson learned I yeah. put it like that, and um, this is something one one should never skip in this job. And at the end, I took this seriously, and uh, now there is a chance. It's false, yeah. And I yeah. think it's that let go, uh, that idea of letting go and being in the moment. What is needed to do in the moment, you have to do, and then it will all fall into place. But it's. It's not when when uh, when we're young. It's not always easy to um, to do that because you always feel you have to sort it out and and be in control. So I think that's patience, patience, patience. Something yeah. uh, many of us don't have. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we we want it all. Yeah. <laughs> yes. that, so, but you yes, know, everything comes. Everything comes in its yeah. own time. It is. If anything, I learned. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, my wish for the future, um, honestly, is to try to keep doing what I'm doing right now as long as possible. Um, I, I think that at this moment, um, yeah, I feel very fortunate because I am making a living doing what I really deeply love. And uh, I just hope I can do that, you know, maybe not forever, but as, as, as forever as possible. Uh, in terms of uh, like specific dreams, uh, I would say that one of my ambitions now is to really dive into Johannes Brahms. Uh, I would like to play everything that he wrote for piano. Uh, I've played a lot, but not everything. Uh, so that's sort of a a focus. I'm studying his music and life uh, a lot now, 
and um, I hope to uh, fill in the gaps of many beloved pieces that I, I, you know, have never performed and never recorded, or you know. So I, I, I hope to do that, and um, I'm also thinking, as as you mentioned about you know communicating with the audience, I'm thinking about ways to also. Um, maybe verbally share some of my love of his music with, with people um, beyond just playing it, of course, which is the most important. Oh. Actually, during the corona, I was, I was always a person who had a plan and I was always a person, I had my to-do lists, I know exactly what I wanted to do. And then with this whole no basically with the whole musical theater that completely changed it sounds cheesy but that completely changed my life because i was in the i was in the office before and i was kind of pursuing this kind of career of studying i don't know international management and becoming like a boom, boom, boom going up the ladder and then something said well but try musical theater and try just throw yourself into this new environment and uh since then i realized that i don't really know if i want to have this specific plan that i'm following at the moment i'm kind of taking things as they come and i try to more listen to my gut feeling and to being open to what's meant to come basically i mean that sounds so wishy-washy but yeah i'm just trying to work on myself and work on 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 the voice on the dancing on the acting and on all these aspects i'm just trying to to see where where life leads me really but i'm i'm really open i'm i've always had my interests in many different topics in many different more jobs also i think music theater is such a broad such a broad job where you can do so many different things um but it always depends what's coming and who's gonna maybe be brave enough to bring a new musical or something new where i fit in or just also taking the time for myself to just relax and enjoy maybe a period of time where i don't have a job which is coming in november december um and just see how I feel then. So I've recently yeah. uh, mm. thought I want to enjoy the, the little things more, like mm. the everyday things. Like, I don't know, I'm riding my bike more and I'm going to the to the gym more at the moment. And I really enjoy this. And it gives me another kind of energy in my in my daily life after after playing the show every day for three years kind of thing. Mm. So I really rediscovering after this long process of being uh, in cats and greece like what what do i want and what do i stand for and I, i'm kind of re-evaluating what my values are and what what i what i want so um still in that process and i'm still figuring out and um but i'm also i don't want to have this one goal or these two goals where yeah. i want to be i want to take more time in my private life of course and i want to enjoy this more with the relationship and the dog that i have and give this the time that it deserves and not yeah not being uh, yeah. thrown around anyway you you can you can uh speak a wish today um <laughs> good question my if if we're talking about my own future inside yeah. this world then uh, I I see my future is uh, uh, more about uh, teaching and sharing because mm -hmm. somehow I feel responsible uh, because a lot of a lot of a lot of things what I do and I did uh, are not based on my uh, own work. There were a lot of work, but there is something on top, something what I got from outside mm -hmm. and uh, this uh, you somebody call it talent somebody call it inspiration you know but anyway if you get something you need to give back so uh the 
I see my future uh, in uh, in sharing. That's why I did this uh, World Herb Day uh, in this, um, uh, movement, you know, to um, create uh, uh, the um, a huge um, community of harpists and doing something together. We are right now. We are talking about how we can also make a new uh, new step for for the situation to you know to show the solidarity to connect the people and so on so on and of course i will be teaching a lot i'm teaching online i, I hope to have my own position and so on so on but uh, there is a lot of things to try and i like to try new things and there is a lot of um, um a lot to discover so mm -hmm. but uh, if we talk about the not me in the world but the world around uh then i just i just really hope that uh we will find the common common language and it will be less about the conference and more about uh creating the the things together it's not only about the politics it's about just uh just normal people and the mm -hmm. the next the next step i will do is just to try to unite at least these three three countries you know the uh, uh, belarus ukraine and russia and to do something together because mm -hmm. we were we were always together and it's uh doesn't matter what happening it's it's horrible things are happening but uh, we somehow we should uh, go on and keep everything what we build otherwise if there will be a flat you know white white paper it will be very difficult to build something yeah. new and together we need to keep keep a lot and save a lot and of yeah. course save a lot of a lot of a lot of lives that's most important now yeah, yeah. yeah. The good, you know the good words the 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 words are mm, uh everybody now all the world they're talking speaking and so on so on but uh uh, people, uh, the, the, the most important is, of course, to save the people. Yeah. Because without, without the people lives, it's all just the words. And, yeah, exactly. So I have, um, been directing more and more concerts. So, um, next week I'm flying to Gauteng where I will be working on a, a production. It's the Anki Kroch, um, poetry. A collection that is being um, worked as a theatre production with also art. So we have um, chosen about seven artists to come and perform and sing and uh, read the poetry. And then we have also invited many visual artists to come and bring the art that they have um, drawn or painted of poems that inspired them in this. This is actually the... <laughs> Mix side funny lifter. Well, yeah, I don't think oh, you can see. Oh, yeah, yeah, can't can't see. Anyway, yeah. um, so mm -hmm. it's it's a lovely job. So I love directing, and I, my my dream is that in future I will get more and more opportunities to put productions together. Um, I also do that for corporate companies. Um, you know, ask what their vision is, and then just make their dreams come true. They must just walk into the venue, and it was just happen yeah so that i enjoy and then yeah i have not written many songs recently <laughs> the past five years um so i hope that at some point that um desire to go and sit in front of the piano and to write music again will resurface um and i i feel something brewing so i I wish that that part of my life will be reignited again so that I can write at least a few more songs in my lifetime. Well, but yeah, to perform and sing and tour, that's that's the dream. You write beautiful songs, really. I've, I've listened you. to a few of your songs and really beautiful, beautiful songs. There's a, wow, that's a, that's a big question, Petra. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I, I, I hope that, especially I think, post pandemic, I think I, I hope that we come back to an understanding of how valuable art is and also make art more suitable in certain ways to the world we actually live in. Um, that's one of my 
my concerns, I think, as a historical musicologist and as a classical musician is that yeah, I do think that we live in kind of these bubbles sometimes and don't feel the need to really do things that are functional, things that um, mm -hmm. that are accessible and that are pleasurable and that are um, that enrich people's lives in a way that they just kind of feel. Um, I think that everything has to be highly, highly intellectualized and therefore unfun. Yeah, I think yeah, that we, exactly. we, you know, we tend to lose a little bit the idea that you can have something that's really, really pleasurable and enjoyable and it's also important and mm -hmm. it's also a value. Um, yeah, I guess that's my, my global wish a little bit. How about you? Yeah, well, it's it's actually my, my own um, saying, uh, but also that that goes for everything that we go back more to to cherish our roots mm. from yeah. what we raised uh, what we were raised to what our parents and grandparents were raised to and turn them into wings and take off with them so <laughs> so turn the roots into into wings not to not to lose this beautiful details we humanity once once had because if you look back in in all the cultures there's so much uh, nice uh, worthy uh, details that are somehow getting lost with all this also beautiful developing technology mm -hmm. i'm i'm not uh, yeah I'm, i i appreciate that also but still to to use uh, what we what we have um, in, in yeah. I, yeah, I totally agree with you. I mean, I'm I'm Afrikaans and come from South Africa and I lived in the UK and I live here now. And for me, I see even with my children that this cult, the culture that, that I knew um, and that they feel comfortable with is also important and that makes them part of who they are wherever we go. You know, it, we, we fit in and, and we settle and in where we are and we accept this culture, but it's part, every person has their culture as, as part of them. And it's beautiful. It's really making, it, enriching the world. So I hope that I will be able to, to stay healthy, to perform for many more years. Because I think if there's one thing, one thing in the pandemic that we all, learned it was the fact that you know health is first if you yeah. are sick or you are unwell nothing else can happen so my my wish is, is really to stay healthy for as long as i can and to to be lucky enough to have even more invitations and even more opportunities to share my unique kind of music with people all around the world i I always found it fascinating in, in a country like China, where I've played so many times, that even with a cultural and a language barrier like that, they just loved this idea of jazzing up classical music. Mm. And it showed me, wow, music is this international language which needs no translation, uh, but can be enjoyed just as is. So that's my wish more of these opportunities i love traveling i love performing and if i'm healthy enough and um, uh, i have some luck on my side i'll be able to do it for another couple of years well that's a great wish and i wish that uh, we'll put this wish uh, uh, on your wish is that you come to vienna <laughs> to do a concert Definitely. <laughs> so yeah. nice. that would be so great and and, and when yeah, and when I come, we can we can invite some interesting people because Vienna has so many wonderful musicians and and the audience there is so clued up, but I think also quite open. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. I can I can imagine a lovely uh, collaborations with you. Let's see. <laughs> well, I'm the, the, I'm very happy to to have found something that I really love, honestly, because um, as I said, I didn't really know what, what it was to conduct for ballet. Um, but now the more I learn about it, the more I really, the more I love it. And, and the, there is much more that I can learn ne next season. I'm really looking forward to 
conduct, uh, um, conduct a little bit of Coppelia and uh, Swan Lake and Nutcracker. And I'm really looking forward to do that. And yeah, and in a way, I feel like I found my family. I found my place. So I'm just wishing to, 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 to be here as much as possible. So ballet, ballet conducting would be something that you think you would, would in, you know, do in the future? Yes, absolutely. Of course, there are, as I was saying, that I'm also assisting uh, CBSO and I'm hoping to do more of other symphonic works because it's very uh, artistically rewarding. Like, for example, next month, next month I'm conducting the Orchestre National de Metz. And I'm doing, for example, Symphony Fantastique and uh, Firebird Suite. And that, that repertoire, it's extremely rewarding, especially when you're conducting uh, a very good orchestra. So I'm, I'm hoping to continue to do that as well. But ballet, it's something that I, I can see myself for the future, definitely. Mm -hmm. Well, it's interesting for me that you said that, um, you know, when you first... Uh, heard the music even then you got this excitement and and you could feel it and i think this sometimes it it's almost that sign that this is something for you this is something that you uh, would be good at or are good at you know if you get that feeling already absolutely yeah exactly um, if you wake up in the morning and you're really excited about going yeah. to your job it's, it's a good sign for sure yeah definitely oh um number one is that people worldwide get together and that a lot of that is what we managed to do with the museums when i worked with the british RAF, royal air force museum in hendon and uh, the dubin of switzerland and in america the various museums in the states the guys came and visited there we visited there and we exchanged parts quietly and there i've had friends with shipping companies and so and so i'll pop it on a ship it used to for me and i'd pop something on a ship in cape town to send over there um the politicians can sort themselves out yeah <laughs> that's the yeah. problem but we work we work together and we help each other and actually we never had a hassle with any any of those problems so luckily that worked yeah and I think, you know, if you think how we worked with guys that were supposed to be anti us or we anti them or whatever, they can't believe it, you know. Yeah. It's, it's, it's quite amazing. Mm. Yeah, if, if we can have more of that in the future. Yeah, definitely. for sure. Yeah. <laughs> the wish, yeah, my wish for the future <laughs> is to retire happily, maybe back in Cape Town. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know yet, but um, yeah, no, I think I just need a vacation so that I can stop thinking about retirement. But uh, okay. uh, I, um, I, I would love for my students who wish to have performing careers that they have as many opportunities for them as possible and that they really, that the world is their oyster. And then uh, for me personally, currently, I'm also, um, so I finished my doctorate degree in 2009. And as I started uh, engaging with research, uh, I really developed an interest in music and well-being and music and emotion, as I mentioned to you earlier, or meaning and purpose. So I'm busy with a, a second master's degree in positive psychology. And so a lot of that research, those research interests I want to combine with music because music and well-being is already a very big uh, area of, of study. And so that's basically what I'm going to be doing in the, in the near future. Wow, that's a very interesting subject. And, and, but you seem to love uh, studying. <laughs> yeah, I think it's what be. Um, so there is a, a test that you can do. It's called Values in Action or VIA. Mm -hmm. It's a free test you can do online. And, and through this, uh, this test, you can determine what are your character strengths. Yeah. And uh, so you can have character st strengths like hope, gratitude, spirituality, mm -hmm. curiosity, love of learning, um, 
they, I think there are about 24 character strengths. And mm-hmm. um, yeah, so love of learning, uh, curiosity is also one of my character strengths. So I mm-hmm. we'll always have an interest in learning and, and um, improving on mm-hmm. my, my knowledge or, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to have. I'm going to do that test. Is it online? Oh. Yeah. Yes, I, 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 I can. S- absolutely, and I hope that you send me a message and share your strengths with me. I'd yes, love. Yes, love I will. <laughs> absolutely, I will. <laughs> but um, but now I, I just want. Oh, oh, before you retire, you have to open still three other theaters. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to retire after that. I think that will kill me, but <laughs> but that would be great. You know, um, mm-hmm. speaking about theatres around the country, I th- my hope is that a company like Cape Town Opera can really recon- yeah. be recognised as a national opera company because that's exactly what they are doing. They're providing work for South Africans all over the country. Mm-hmm. And... Yeah, I just, I, I really hope that that Cape Town Opera gets the support that they need to continue with the work that they do. And hopefully, if that also then becomes more theatres or more opera companies down the line, that would be fantastic. Yeah, well, I've spoken also to a few independent singers of, in South Africa. And what I find so fascinating is just their their will to do it, you know, and, and they in how innovative they are and they organize their own concerts and they just they keep going. And I think this is amazing. Absolutely. Yeah. I think that is that South African entrepreneurial spirit. You know, yes. um, South Africans, mm-hmm. you can't get us down. We're going to do yeah. what we need to do <laughs> and and do it laughing. South Africans have mm-hmm. a great sense of humor. And yes, that, that spirit, that entrepreneurial spirit is really wonderful. So I love seeing South African musicians really going out there and, and not letting circumstances get them down. Yeah. <laughs> you don't it's ask easy questions. <laughs> um, I think something that I would like is to leave behind some kind of legacy, all right? Um, in medicine, to for people to get this more holistic approach, to to look at the person in front of you, but to look at yourself as well, all right? It, it, is sometimes a very selfless job and we lose a lot of nursing staff and doctors because of that so you must have a balance um, i would love it if they say i made people look differently at, at something i would love it if my students would one day say um, that i influence them to think of medicine in a certain positive way hopefully um, on a personal level, I would like my art to, to go to a f- level where it's easy to produce and, and sell and, and get rid of it and, and, and to leave a legacy as well to, so that people can say the way you see life influence them as well. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, what beautiful wishes. <laughs> <laughs> I am touched, really. Yeah, but it's you work. You work with really. Um, you know, you work with people and people's lives, and you you have that uh, privilege to be so uh, um, there when when somebody comes in this world. I mean, you you mm-hmm. are there when babies get born, and I think what a wonderful privilege a job like that is. Also, yeah, I, I know. It- It's kind of silly because when a baby is born, it was actually alive for nine months beforehand. (laughs) But the whole process is is a creative process as well. Mm -hmm. Um, One of the things I like to do is when a baby is born, and it's it's a wonderful moment, but to put that baby on mom's chest, Mm -hmm. and then I would hold onto the umbilical cord, and it will... It will pulsate in your hand 
Wow. And it, and it feels like something that is alive. And while it is still pulsating, I wouldn't cut the cord because there's, there's great advantages for the baby if, if you get mm -hmm. more of that blood from the placenta into the baby's circulation. But it, it's such a magic moment mm -hmm. or a few moments. Um, I think just something like that makes my life, makes my job worthwhile. Mm -hmm. So something I really wish for because I'm having this situation right now and it's glorious is that I get to sing with a lot of friends because that is just really fulfilling. That is just, you can sing with everybody. If you're professional, you can work with everyone, but there's something special about seeing with people we really like and, mm -hmm. and appreciate. So that is, and then maybe, you know, in my last year, getting into a nice graduate program or into a nice like young artist program would be great to slowly develop into like a adult opera singer, you mm -hmm. know, to, to make more challenges and to like, yeah, to just have the chance to grow consistently in a non-toxic environment. That is, I think, what everybody wishes for and what I wish everybody to get. And that's just the best. Yeah, that is, I think, it. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, in general, that our situation we have on earth at the moment maybe calms down a bit because it's 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 a lot for many people and it's um i think we could all profit from this situation the all the things that are going on at the moment which is crazy yeah. to calm down is something i wish for everybody not related to opera but just in general yeah yeah, yeah. So the wishes for the future, it's to uh, to have my home company. I, I still have my home company, but it's more like a consulting company. So basically, it's like uh, I'm just visiting place uh, in different country, help them to create like the the, the concept most of the time. Uh, but I don't have a specific shop under my name. So my next target now is to have like a shop with my name. Uh, and also I'm really passionate about acting. So my next will be also acting for maybe TV show or something like this, but really? we are working on it. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, where, where and, did that, uh, uh, so acting like in a, in a series or, or in, in yeah, a, the series oh. where yeah, we have, we have some, like, uh, we want to produce a TV show basically. Uh, so we hope that, uh, it will be, it will be good. Yeah, yeah, my goodness. Well, yeah. this is now very interesting because I I speak to uh, artists like actors and musicians that uh, that start cooking or baking, and now I'm yeah. talking so to me it's a reverse. <laughs> <laughs> but they're all interconnected. I think all the different. Oh yes, of yes. Art. Yeah. I think is I think it's very important. Uh, most of the time, you know, the, the pastry and the cooking was a little bit on the back, you know, and we didn't highlight so much. Yeah. Uh, and I think many chefs around the world, very famous chefs, have bring this idea to put this one on the camera since like maybe 10 years ago. And I think it's very important to the people to really understand the, the yeah, this, this job, you know, and uh, also the, the way that we cook and the, the patient that we put and the love that we had into our product. So I think yeah. it's very important to, to showcase uh, this. Yeah, and, and, you know, I think we've been used to so much uh, instant you know like you you go to a supermarket and you go to the baking aisle in the supermarket and it lost almost these these real bakeries you know yes where, yes where yes, yes. Where you go in and you go for the yes. cake and you go for the bread and so on so um yeah but i think it's sad that that's lost yeah may you yeah i think it's it's uh, it's important yeah and this is why, because you wrote to me once that you like the city of, of uh, Dresden. Yes. And it's such a beautiful city as well. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. So it's have you done concerts city. there as well? Uh, no, actually, I never played in Dresden. Really? I have been in Dresden mm -hmm. several times um, as a tourist and also uh, as a professor. I have been invited at uh, Musikhochschule where I gave 
uh, master class, uh, but I have never, still never performed in Dresden. I would like to, Abba. Okay, so you, that's, let's make that wish then here, because many people's wishes come true when they say it in, on this channel. Let's hope so. Let's yeah. hope so. I'm <laughs> prompt to, to, to go to Dresden and um, uh, if um, accepted to, to offer a little bit uh, of my love for Robert Schumann, of course, in Dresden. That would be, that would now be perfect. Yeah. Perfect combination. Yes. But now talking about wishes, what, what are your wishes for the future, Igor? Um, to stay healthy. <laughs> yeah. Which is nowadays especially is, is, uh, um, is very important. Mm -hmm. And um, to keep on having um, a good balance in, in my activity as, as musician. Um, I, um, I'm not really greedy in terms of um, career concerts or, or recordings or let's say um, being under the spotlight. Uh, what is, uh, what I consider absolutely important for me is to have uh, a big, a very big balance between what uh, I'm doing, what I want to do, and what I love to do. Um, at the moment, at this stage of my life, um, I'm very happy um, about what I'm doing uh, because um, I'm doing exactly what I want to do. And I can do it the way I want to do it. So I'm dealing with uh, my piano and with the repertoire I love to, to play. And I have some uh, projects uh, regarding composers, old pieces. Um, I am teaching with very motivated students and I have students arriving from different countries uh, in Europe. Um, so I can give class in Italian, in English, in German, and um, I, I teach in a beautiful city, um, in, in a beautiful academy, because um, the academy in Venice is located in the second largest palazzo we have in the city. Wow. And um, from, from my room, um, I can, uh, I have two windows and I can see the Campanile di San Marco. So, I mean, this Amazing. is, this is so, such a, such a, um, such a luck. I mean, and, um, I can travel, uh, which is something I really love. I can travel to, to both perform and teach, um, meeting new people, new students, uh, new experiences, new colleagues to see new places. So that's exactly what I want to do. So I, I wish myself I can uh, keep on doing these things, um, trying as I, I am trying to, to do them um, always better and always more. Hmm. Carolina, what is, what, is, what is your wish for the future? Um. Because I'm I'm searching for it. I'm yeah. <laughs> what is always for the future? Actually, actually, I think uh, we would love to have an opportunity to to perform as much as we can in, around the world, around the yeah, world, traveling in, uh, in beautiful places and, and bringing, well. bringing, yes. yeah, bringing, yeah. bringing our music to places that uh, that has never heard this kind of of ensemble and. Or, or doesn't doesn't always have have a possibility to experience classical music like we did in, in Asia, yeah. where classical concerts is not really are not really that common. So no, a combi it, so uh, a combination yeah. of violin accordion you know, wasn't in Cambodia, yeah. in Cambodia or, yes yeah. wasn't wasn't really that big of a deal because they they haven't had many concerts altogether of classical music in the in the past. So. Or in Brunei, yeah, yeah, in, in Brunei where we are the first Polish people to perform there in 2019, so that was also exciting. So yes, yeah, so I think our dream is to 
to maintain good health and stuff like that to, to yeah. be able to do what we do that's actually the thing we are dreaming of of course th there are there are some some big dreams but uh, maybe we, we would maybe it would we would jinx it if we would like to show them you know uh, yeah. everywhere so uh, of yeah. course we have some big dreams but but uh, mm -hmm. the real one is the the one that 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 i said that yeah to yeah. be to be able physically and mentally to to perform all over the yeah. world but let's make the wish that you go to south africa to perform we can make it oh, here. Yes. yeah because many people oh, yes. made wishes here the wishes have come true so let's throw <laughs> that wish out <laughs> okay so that is so that, that is our, our, our yeah. big dream for the country for yeah. sure <laughs> and, and you let me know when you go sure of course you yeah, remember yeah. That. okay for sure. <laughs> my wish for the future that's a good question I don't expect that question. <laughs> My wish for the future is first of all that uh, that I can for me for me personal. Yeah. 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 My wish. My wish is that I yeah that I can continue what I'm doing because I really love what I'm doing, um, and yeah, it's for me it's uh, it's one of the most important things in my life. It's working with the chocolate, and my wish is that I uh, can can travel a lot can share my passion with people uh, from all corners of the world uh, to share my knowledge, but also to receive a lot of knowledge from them, a lot of information for, from them, because uh, uh, every day you learn. Eh? Yeah. Uh, and when you travel, you share your passion with people that have the same passion as yours, also chocolates. And that makes it great. Uh, traveling for, for my work, it's it's... It's actually traveling for my pleasure, not for my pleasure. I need to work, but for me, it's not my work, you know, that? but it's to, yeah, I'm, I'm really triggered by talking with people. They also working with chocolates. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's great. So my wish is a lot of travels, keep going what I'm doing, working with chocolates and uh, making people happy and share my passion for chocolates. Oh, that's wonderful. Well, I, I'm sure your wish will come true because you're so enthusiastic and passionate about your work. And it's, you know, we, uh, I can sense that. And I think people can sense that also when you work with them. So that's wonderful. Yeah, sometimes people are saying that I'm a bit too chocolate minded. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I can't see anything wrong with that. <laughs> But uh, yeah, everything that I'm thinking is, is chocolate. When it's I visit chocolate. in the weekend, a chop with my girlfriend, we sing for some small decoration at home. I'm starting already to think, ah, maybe this decoration is nice to make a mood out of it. Oh, okay. <laughs> out of it. So I'm always thinking in chocolate uh, terms. <laughs> and then when, my, when, my, when my girlfriend say, ah, this is nice, I say, ah, yeah, it's really nice, but... I will buy this because I think in chocolate it will be this. And I, you think always like chocolate, chocolate, it's weekend. Don't think about work, but yeah, it's, it's something. Uh, yeah, but that's, that's, I love it. I think this is wonderful. This is actually how it should be, you know, that, yeah, that yeah. Uh, work should be so part of you and it should be, I mean, I don't think they're there um, or I think many people would love to have a job where they, um, you know where they feel that passionate about so <laughs> well i have different i have different ideas for my future and of course i still would like to keep going with my dancer career because i'm still young and i still mm. think i can give a lot as a dancer um at the same time in a parallel way i would like still to keep on with the choreography you know and because i think i have uh also still have a lot to say um and for the future i mm, i would love honestly to have my own company wow you know, uh, to kind of uh being not i would say yeah, not even director just to have uh, a group of people of uh sharing uh, um just um ideas and making choreographies, uh, performances, and uh, um, I think that's what I would like to, what I would like to aim for, you know, to create my own 
kind of group of people and uh, just um, kind of, I wouldn't say mostly like director, you know? Yeah. I mean, I could see myself as a director, but mostly like um, a group of people that, you know, we, we're all in the same kind of level. Yeah. And you know, all of this sharing. So it's, it's not just dancer and the choreographer, but I think it's also nice to create their, your own team of like dancers, choreographers, um, musicians as well, you know, so big teams that you can create. Just that, yeah. I think I'd like to create like a, a creation environment, you know, where you can uh, just create, create different things and, uh, you know, I think yeah, it's like a I'm... like a collaborative uh, idea that you you also because um, I think over the, maybe because of this pandemic uh, we were almost also more aware of the different types of art and and artists and how they you are all interlinked in a way with each other. So uh, what a beautiful project that would be if you can do that. It would, it would be amazing. Yeah. I mean, you never know, but it would be amazing, you know, and uh, to to have something, a group of people where, where that you trust and that they trust you and that you can create something uh, inspiring and uh, creative, you know, that you can share with other people. And I think, because yeah. uh, at the end of the day, it's all about sharing, mm -hmm. to be honest, you know, and yeah. uh, it's where you get the, the most uh, uh, beautiful things, I find. Yes. Well, I'm going to uh, look forward to that. <laughs> you yeah. let me know, but <laughs> <Of course laughs> when that happens, I think it's a great idea that you have. I would like to have a handicap ten in golf. <clears throat> <laughs> I'd like to spend at least two months every year on my yacht in the Mediterranean. Yeah. <laughs> spend lots of time with my dogs. <laughs> <laughs> So how many dogs do you have? I have two dogs, two French bulldogs. Yeah. I call them my um Huisfarke, <laughs> my uh, own <laughs> pigs, because they oh, I love them too much. They they yeah. only know love, 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 love. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have two cats. Oh, okay. And, and of course, here in the forest, we wake up every morning with a new animal visitor in the garden. So yeah. uh, that sense uh, it's paradise. <laughs>